Well, the calendar has turned to September now for a week, but we're still continuing our series on end of summer songs because summer doesn't officially end quite yet, at least on the calendar. And so this week we're starting with Psalm 34. And Psalm 34 is uh, thanksgiving for deliverance from trouble. And like Psalms 9 and 10 and Psalm 25, Psalm 34 is what's known as an alphabetical acrostic. And that means in Hebrew, each line begins with the next letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And that's why there's 22 verses, because there's 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Just like if this was an alphabetical acrostic in English, we'd have a 26-verse psalm, where the first verse starts with the letter A, the second verse starts with the letter B, etc. So Psalm 34, an alphabetical acrostic, uh, is a thanksgiving for deliverance from trouble. And it begins with these words. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Well, at the beginning of this psalm, there's several things that um, I find challenging or worth highlighting. The first is the very first phrase, I will bless the Lord at all times. That's the rub, isn't it? That's the challenging part. I will bless the Lord when everything's going great, when I feel healthy and well, when I go on vacation and everything goes perfectly well and I don't get sick and my phone works. Uh, it's easy to bless the Lord at times like that. But boy, when you get sick on your vacation, when you run into difficulty, when you have troubles, pain, heartache, grief, Psalm 34 says, yes, even then. I will bless the Lord at all times. And as we've already shared, as we've looked at several Psalms now, uh, that means we praise God even when it's hard, even when it's not easy, even when we may have to bounce all the way back to, I'm praising God because I have a roof over my head. I have food in my refrigerator and my pantry. I have running clean water. Uh, we sometimes have to get very elemental and looking for reasons, but we're called to bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, that I'm constantly praising and thanking God. And verse 2 is an invitation to join with the psalmist, with David, in offering praise. And then the other key thing I would stress today is in verse 3, O oh, magnify the Lord with me, let us exalt his name together. There's something about coming together. And I know some of you who watch these devotions are at home, and even when we have worship, you are joining us from home, but you're still part of what we do together. And there is something about knowing, hey, God's people are gathering, in our case at BBC, at 8.30 and 10 a.m., and I am going to be a part of exalting God's name together and knowing I'm part of something that is larger than myself. That's a helpful practice. Let's bless the Lord and praise him together today.